When you get on a tractor, it's important that you have three points of contact to ensure that you do not slip and fall off the tractor. We also do this in facing the tractor. You want to go ahead and make sure you put your seatbelt on. This tractor is equipped with a ROPS system, so we have to wear the seatbelt. We're going to go ahead and start the engine by pushing our foot on the clutch and turning the key. We can adjust the steering wheel down. This tractor is a hydrostatic transmission, meaning that we only have three selections. We have a high, a medium, and a low. For this, we're going to select the medium. We have a hand throttle right here that we can increase our engine speed. And then we also have a foot pedal down low for forward and reverse. When you're backing up the tractor, it's important that you keep the tractor square with the piece of equipment. What you're going to be looking for is the two lower links, not the top link. The top link is going to move back and forth. The lower links are the key to lining this stuff up. As you back this up, it's important to get as close as you can. There's some adjustments that we can make to make life a little bit easier, but the closer you are, the easier it's going to be. Once you get it lined up, you can go ahead and lower that three point all the way to the ground. And you can dismount the tractor. Make sure that you put the tractor in neutral and set the parking brake. When you dismount the tractor, you're going to do it the same way as you got on by facing the tractor, grabbing three points of contact, and making sure that you have secure footing as you exit. When you're hooking up the tractor, you always start with the left link first. There is a pin for the sway bar that allows us to pull that out, and then we can simply lift up on the two bottom links. The pin should slide in easily if you got it lined up. Put your linch pin in to lock it in place. There's an adjustment on the right link to raise and lower it independently from the left link. Raise that up and get it lined up with the whole thing. If the links don't line up, you can push this lever and extend it to get it to line up. You then put the pin through, it should go with ease, lock it down, and then make sure you put your sway bar pin back in. The last step is the top link. What you want to do is make adjustments. You're going to hold the end and turn the center bar, never turn the outside end. You're going to turn it until you can line it up with those holes, and you can put your pin in. To adjust the pitch, you can either loosen or tighten this, and that will change the angle that your equipment's in. Once everything's in, make sure it's all locked down and re-enter the tractor. Using the three-point lift, we're going to pull this up all the way back. That's going to ensure that this thing locks into place. The other thing, when you start moving, you want to make sure that the pin that we pulled out on the right link locks into place. Sometimes just driving down the road will accomplish this task. Three points have a single acting cylinder, which means it only has the power to lift. Lifting it all the way ensures it locks in place for road transport.
When unhitching, back up squarely where you want it to be placed. Once it's in position, lower the three point down all the way to the ground while the tractor is still running and then shut the engine off. To unhitch the tractor, it's the reverse order, so the top link goes first. If there is tension, loosen that top link until the pin slides out freely. Once you get the pin out, make sure that you put the top link back in its place. Remove the pin on the right link. Sometimes you have to lift up a little bit to relieve the pressure. And then repeat that on the left link side. Once all three pins are completely removed, you can safely drive away from the piece of equipment. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it.